reporters out there begging to get a chance to get in here to watch this movie. I told them, you're in a delicate stage, it's not a good time to bother you, but for some reason they're sure that you're going to invite them in here, they're going to watch the final cut of the movie, and then they're going to be the first ones to review it. Archimedes, this isn't working. What isn't working? The TV? All of it. What have I done? This is the, what, 24th cut. We've reshot it 17 times. We've recast it eight times. And this is the first time you're going to watch it with the orchestral score. What size orchestra did we use? Uh, 43 piece. We should have sprung for the 80. Man, with what money? This is a, f a fluid project in, in every sense of the word. The art wants what it wants. Yeah, but I just don't understand how we're supposed to pay for anything at this point. No changes are financially feasible. Careful with that. That's four years of work right there. Yeah, maybe next time we'll uh, invest in some better storage capacity than a thumb drive. How much is left in the Kickstarter? Like 60 bucks. It needs a page one rewrite. Just make something else. Put this thing up on YouTube. Move on! I cannot sell out before I've even started. And where are those reporters? How's my hairline? Um, there you go. It's, it's receding a bit. Yes. Uh, well. Hi, this is Chris Townsend coming to you live from KSIO. I'm here with the famous Oliver Grayson, who's filmed the most expensive short, in, sh expensive short shot in Nebraska. Mr. Grayson, I understand that this $150,000 crowdfunded short film is now entering its fourth year of editing. How has it changed along the way? Yes, well, the, the thing no one tells you about uh, about doing this is you need to put in at least 10,000 hours before you really get the hang of it. Uh, Putting in 10,000 hours? Precisely, yes. On a short? Look, I, I don't expect you to get it. Uh, the audience may never understand my work. Uh, I may go un unappreciated until the late 2060s. The point is, I need to make the film I've always wanted to make. But do you know the film you want to make? Yes, well, due to, you know, some unforeseen production costs, uh, we may have to increase the budget uh, to make the film we've always wanted to make. And do you have an answer for all the Kickstarter backers that have backed your project? Yes, I have a response to them. I say to these Philistines, do you want a product or do you want art? Look into thine own souls before criticizing me! Yes, hello. Uh, I'm calling about a shelved episode of Charlie Rose that was pre-taped right before the, uh, uh, misconduct allegations came out. Yeah, I, I was wondering if I could get the footage. Uh, yes, uh, I'm, a I'm aware the man is socially toxic now, but it, it was a good interview. I, I mean... I know it's not the usual protocol, but I, I really need some good press. Well, that's my point. You know, any press is good press, right? Well, yes, other than Mr. Rose's conduct when that came out, but I mean, it was good for women. Andrea, <laughs> or Angela, whichever. Uh, good to see you. It's Angela. Good. Well, yes, why would it not be? Everyone's been talking about your movie. Oh. Everyone. Yes. You'd almost think you were actually successful. What's the metric there? How many interviews are you planning on giving about a short that you probably haven't even edited? Angela, I've done nothing but edit this opus, this apotheosis. Where is it? It's here, in my pocket. It's on a thumb drive. The fruits of all of our hard labor. Not mine. Yes, well, you were the lead, Angela, as I recall. Before you reshot it three times. 
Nobody knows if they're in it. And to be honest, nobody wants to work with you after all of your promises, only to be recast a month later. Angela, it's impersonal. It's art. You have to separate our... Trist from the project itself. Uh, the project became about the Trist after your last edit or redo or however you're spinning it. It's evolving, okay? I can, I can foster the evolution as as though David fostered Wallace, or I can leave it to die like an irrelevant prune in the vegetable drawer. Just <sighs> wither it. Not. Prunes are fruits! Yes, well, nevertheless, they could be placed in the vegetable drawer, Angela. Look, I have a film to finish, and I'm very busy. Hey, you think the actors are the only ones who want answers? Think again, Kubrick. The backers are out for blood, and they are done with your excuses. Yes, well, it's just... Fantastic seeing you again, Angela. I think so too! Yes, we'll have to just do this again. I like that! Call me and we'll figure out our schedule. Anytime! It's mutual! Yes, very much so! Reminds me, uh, did you have that mole on your upper thigh looked at? The backers are out for blood and they are done with your excuses. Out for blood, eh? Again, um, I heard there's some new news, new money's coming into the project, but I heard you were funny through Iran. Is this true? We, I mean... Yes, well, I'd be happy to answer your questions, but uh, I'm currently uh, running for my life. We like to get that too. Yes, well, let me survive first. Thank you. Hey! 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 I'm really looking forward to your movie. Yes, great. Thank you for your support. Hey, you don't need to be Shh. quiet in here. I know it's a library, but you're like a local celebrity. Hey, I got, I got a Sharpie. Could I get an autograph on my chest? Yes, yes. I'll sign your ass. I'll sign your nips. What? What the? Hey, you said all the Yeah, the little asshole just went that way. Thank you. Yep, let's get him. All right. What we gave you money for? We want the story. I just want to be in a movie. Where's the skirt? I want you to sign my chest with a sharpie. I can't give you all what you want. You can't be a filmmaker without an audience. You'll hate it. We just want to see it. It's terrible. We paid for it. Come on. Well, you know, I, I just need more time. I need some. I need. Talk to me later. <laughs> 